Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are 10 books that I recommend that are on Kindle Unlimited. I love Kindle Unlimited. If you don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, it is a subscription service that you can get through Amazon where you pay around $10, I want to say a month, to get all access to books that are in the Kindle Unlimited catalog. The majority of those I want to say are romance books, but there are different genres as well. I know there's thrillers, mysteries, there's a bunch of different things on Kindle Unlimited. I use it only for <laughs> romance books because there is an abundant number on there. I have kind of a part one to this video. I made a Kindle Unlimited recommendation video back when I was one of the hosts for the Kindle Unlimited readathon that happened. So I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out. Also, I just want to say I got this sweatshirt in from my lovely friend Desi. I'll link her channel down below. She made this sweatshirt. Um, it says, read whatever you want and love whatever you read. I adore this. I needed it as soon as she put it online and oh my gosh I you know I love me some blue aliens and like any chance that I will get to wear them on a shirt I will buy it of course they are my life oh I love her story behind this also basically like it's very popular on TikTok right now or in some book communities to recommend books where there's like a discreet cover you know where no one could tell that you're reading a romance book and she's like why do you care I agree. Why should you care? Read what you love, love what you read. Read some spicy romance books with shirtless aliens on the cover, y'all. Do it. <laughs> if it makes you happy, don't care what anyone else says. There you go. There's my two cents. Anyway, let's talk about these recommendations. Speaking of blue aliens, I can't believe this wasn't in my other Kindle Unlimited recommendation video, but I have Ice Planet Barbarians by uh, Ruby Dixon. Anything by Ruby Dixon is gonna be on Kindle Unlimited. I am almost completely done reading her backlist, y'all. Everything that she has written is on KU. Please pick it up. This is an alien romance series all about uh, human women who have crash landed on this ice planet and one of the women named Georgie goes out to find supplies or find somebody to help the women who have crush landed and she comes across Vectal who is a blue alien and he realizes that that is his lifelong maiden partner and so each book is about one of the human women crash landing on this planet and finding their mate. I love this series so much. I have many Ruby Dixon books behind me that I could also recommend in this video, but I'm gonna just stick to this one. <laughs> if you're looking for alien romance, this one is definitely the way to go. Ruby Dixon is definitely the author to go to if you want to find an amazing author that's on KU. I then have King Sized by Jessica Kane. This is a novella. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite novellas of all time. This one is perfect. Perfection. It is so good. So this is a royalty romance as well. Rex is one of the bodyguards to the new queen. Her name is Britta and earlier that day her parents passed away and she I believe she's 18 and Rex is one of the guards that stands outside of her door when she's in her room and he and the other guards can hear her crying in her room. She's super upset and distraught. Her parents are gone and so he's like is no one gonna go in there and like console this woman? She's all alone by herself in this room totally crying her eyes out and no other man will go in there and he's like you know what I'm gonna go in there and so he does he goes in there and he consoles her and oh it is so sweet this is definitely like a softy sweet hero and who will just do anything for his woman like swoons over her so this is a great bodyguard romance as a novella he didn't always used to be a, a bodyguard for the castle for the royal family basically he used to be a blacksmith but then he saw a parade of the royal family and he saw Britta and he's like I want to dedicate my life to protecting this woman. She is beautiful. She looks just she just she just looks like an amazing woman. Um, that's going to do something great with our 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 little little country. And so he decides to become a bodyguard from then on. And he's been longing over her for so long. And oh, it's so good. He is so sweet and gentle and kind and like just wants everything for. Britta and Brenna becomes so smitten over him when she notices him and oh my gosh this book is so good so good I totally recommend it another Jessica Kane that I have is hefty this book takes place in high school so if high school romances aren't really your thing I totally get it maybe steer clear of this one this one is about Zach and Jill Jill is best friends with Zach's sister so Jill is over at Zach's house quite a lot because Zach's sister and Jill our best friends so they hang out a lot for years jill has been crushing hardcore on zach she's been crushing on him but zach doesn't think that he could ever like get her because he has a crush on her too he doesn't think that he could ever get her because he's this big football player and she's this very popular 
cheerleader. He's like, she's never gonna wanna be with a big guy like me. And no, oh, she's been crushing on him for forever. Their feelings finally get like released one day and oh, it is hot. <laughs> It is fun. It is hot. This one is so entertaining and I just love the like childhood crush grow to more romance in here. Oh, it was so good. Next I have Rustic Hearts by Amber Kelly. This one is about Sophia and Braxton. So Sophia actually lives in New York with her mother, but her dad lives in a very small town called Popular Falls. I think this it's like a very small like country-esque town. Um, and so one day she gets a phone call that her grandmother who lives in that town has passed away So she goes down there to stay with her dad on his ranch to go to her grandmother's funeral And there she meets Braxton who works at the ranch and this is a enemies to lovers romance between the two of them He can't stand her because she's a city girl and she can't stand him because he's a judgmental country boy Of course you get to see the two of them grow from their hate into love which I adored in this book i feel like hate to love romances sometimes don't cut it for me because i can't see the slow progression from hate to love um like i need to see the in between there because sometimes that doesn't happen well on page this one did it very very well for me also if you're a big fan of the simple wild by k.a tucker this one really reminded me of that so i really recommend it if you love the simple wild this one is just a great book to read on ku i definitely want to check out more of amber kelly's work i hope other books by her are also on kindle unlimited so i can check them out next i have a dust walker by the author duo tiffany roberts if you didn't know tiffany roberts is a husband wife author duo this is very unique. This is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi fantasy-esque. It's very interesting. I can't even like articulate this book at all, but basically this is a romance between a cyborg and a human woman. So this is in a post-apocalyptic earth setting. So before the world essentially ended, cyborgs were the new form of technology. They ended up becoming their own beings and, and controlling humans and um, gaining power over humans. So now there's a very small, small population of humans on the earth now. Most of the earth is decimated um, and cyborgs essentially rule everything. Ronan is a cyborg and Lara is a human. Ronan has been just basically aimlessly walking on earth, not knowing what to do with his life. He feels like he has no purpose in life until he comes across Lara who's hiding in a barn and she decides to dance just like that's how she lets her feelings out as she dances and in the middle of this apocalypse she's dancing to let her feelings out and Ronan over like like sees her and it's just like that is my purpose now she is my purpose now he then confronts Laura and is like I want to keep you safe and I want to be with you and she's like um I need help finding my sister so they go in search of finding her sister who um, she hasn't seen in quite a little bit and they end up having to stay in a forced proximity with one another it is so good <laughs> also in this like post-apocalyptic setting humans and cyborgs are not supposed to intermingle with one another um and so ronan and laura decide to kind of like break the rules <laughs> essentially i thought this was great this is a book that i don't see a lot of other people reading and i think it's very 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 unique next i have set by alexandria house this is a very 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 short novella so our hero and our heroine in this book they met each other or knew of each other in high school they ended up going to the same high school but they weren't close friends with one another um but then they end up going to i believe their 10 or 20 year high school reunion and they meet there and they decide to go home together and so ever since they've had this relationship between the two of them well they will both get away for a short period of time and get together you know <laughs> this was book was just full of hot hot times hot if you're looking for a very steamy book this one is it it was overall super fun and i definitely want to continue on with this series and i feel like alexandria house just <laughs> writes amazing chili pepper scenes you know like these were good. <laughs> Next I have Royal Dragon by Charlene Hartnady. This is a dragon shifter romance book. In this universe, I think it's like Earth, but then there's like a secret population of dragon shifters in it. Basically the dragon shifters are dying out and there is a very low population of females. And so the dragon community, the dragon world has to take certain measures in order to make sure that their race does not die out. The king of the dragons, King Blaze, decides to enact an age old tradition called the bride hunt. Essentially a bunch of them have taken human women who are sol live solitary lives that no one will miss them. They take them 
and they put them in this field area and let them run. The women have no idea what's going on, by the way. And so essentially, the dragon shifter, the dragon shifters in this game situation have to go and hunt these women and first come first serve. So the first person to grab a woman, that is their mate now. But the issue is that the women are human and uh, dragons think that human women are weak and fragile and so some of them aren't really up for it <laughs> and a bunch of them think that they're not even able to survive the hunt that they're going to be putting on. Our hero here, Cole, he is the brother to King Blaze and his brother is making him perform in the hunt games, making him participate. Anyways, he participates not wanting human mate, um, he doesn't want one, uh, but then he he has to participate because his brother is making him too, and then he comes across her heroine and becomes utterly smitten with her and knows that he needs her. Um, she is a part of this hunt and she ends up being the survivors, one of the survivors of the hunt. I really like this one. I feel like this is a very unique Dragon Shifter romance series. I definitely want to find more Dragon Shifter romances to read, but I believe the whole series is on KU and the series is quite long so. Next I have Eleanor and Grey by Brittany C. Cherry. Y'all know that I love me some Brittany C. Cherry. She is fantastic, beautiful, a goddess. I adore her. So our two main characters in here, Eleanor and Grey, met in high school and they became fast friends. Anyway, Eleanor and Grey, they were friends in high school. Very like friends from opposite side of the track basically. Our heroine Eleanor, she's very bookish, goes to a party with a book in her hand and just reads all night. Whereas Grey, I believe, is like kind of like the soccer not soccer, a small, some kind of sport superstar, but they end up becoming very close friends. But then their friendship ends when Eleanor and her father have to move to a different state, I believe. It is now years later and Eleanor is all grown up, so is Gray, and she ends up moving back to her hometown and wants to become a nanny. And so she applies for a nanny position and she walks into the interview not knowing that Gray is the one that is going to hopefully be hiring her. Gray, I believe, has two children um, and their mother just recently passed. And so he's going through the grief of having his wife be gone, essentially, and having to deal with um, and support his children through this horrible time in their lives. And so Eleanor really takes it upon herself to care and love on this family, even though Gray is completely different than who he was in high school. He's now prickly and grumpy, and that is not the Gray that she remembers years ago. But of course, once they spend more time together, Eleanor kind of breaks down Grey's walls and they fall in love with one another. This one was so beautiful. This is a beautiful romance story. I love Brittany C. Cherry. I feel like she can do no wrong. Next, I have Roses in Winter by Penelope Daniels. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. There is a trigger warning in here for uh, abuse, domestic abuse. Our heroine, Alina, she ends up running away from home one day because um, her husband just has been abusing her nonstop. She's finally decided that enough is enough and she has left him. And so if you think about it like the movie Beauty and the Beast, it's like that kind of time period where like there's no technology, no cars or anything. And so she has to, she basically runs away when it's still snowing out and there's snow everywhere. And so she's like basically fighting for her life, running away because it is very dangerous outside. It's snowing, it's cold, and she has nowhere to go. But she's just knows that she has to get away from her husband. So she's been walking and walking and walking for so long. She ends up collapsing in front of this big mansion. And it is actually Edward's mansion who has been living in this mansion for years in seclusion. A curse was placed on him to look hideous and be covered in scars. Um, and so he, he has not wanted to leave his house in years. But once he comes across Alina, he just decides he has to help her at least in some way. So yeah, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling between Alina and um, what's his name? Edward. Uh, I love this a lot. Something I love about this book is the house that they're in is so magical. Like it has like a mind of its own. Like it is so cool. Like normally the Beauty, Beauty and the Beast um, movie you have all these talking characters that are inanimate objects whereas like they can't talk in this book but i feel like it's just like one big entity the house is that can control a bunch of different things and it is so cool i love the magic aspect in here and i feel like this is very unique beauty and the beast retelling that i need more people to read and lastly we have is it my favorite book of the year so far it's 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 in the top three of course we have nerdgasm by kimberly reese y'all this book it's so good. This is about Addie and Theo. Theo in here. I want a Theo in real life. Theo, oh, is my dream dude. He is my dream guy. 
oh my gosh i i adore him <laughs> so theo in here he grew up with a very severe stutter and he was bullied a lot for it it's been years later he is now in college and he's so somewhat learned to control his stutter except for when he is very nervous when he's public speaking or when he's around girls he is very attracted to and so the start of this book is his first day as a ta in college and our heroine in here Addie is one of the students in the class he is a TA for and the first time Addie sees Theo she's like I want him like I, I want him and so she goes out of her way to pursue him which is very interesting you don't normally see a lot of women being the first to pursue a man but you do in here and Theo is just like so cute and besotted over this woman this also has a great relationship with um having a female best friend um and so he's like chatting with his best friend one day and Addie comes over and he just starts becoming a bumbling stuttering mess and she's like i know you like her you're stuttering i know you like her and he's like no i don't no i don't <laughs> and it is so cute it is so cute something i loved about this book too is that the characters in here are very slow in their physical relationship and they take it day by day they don't just go all in um and i i loved that i feel like not all relationships are all in and i feel like this just showed it so well i adore this one if you want to pick up any book from this list please pick up nerdgasm it is a very short it is super fun it's amazing i adore it so there you have it those are some kindle unlimited recommendations for you please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all